Go Jackers. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Rec Talk, and uh, we got some serious business to talk about. No promos, no whatever. We're just going to get uh, right into it. So, uh, if you haven't listened to the live show, I just uploaded that uh, to Spotify and all the uh, audio platforms. Uh, before that show, Benjamin London uh, was texting me and saying, hey, I'd like to start off the show with um, some rumored news. Now, I thought he was going to to want to talk about Jonte Gilbert, a five-star safety, number two safety in the country that just decommitted from Ohio State after his uh, visit to Georgia Tech yesterday. Uh, he's in the 2025 class. And I was jacked up for that. But then I get smacked in the face with this. Now, I want to – so Ben London, before we got on the show, was talking about some some rumors. And I am – I'm giddy to hear about this. I am too. I am oh, too. Yeah. So, I, I, I can't confirm. I can't deny. I'm reaching out to uh, some of my inside sources to see what I can gather up. Um, but as of right now, the rumor – uh, that is floating around is that there are serious conversations that Washington, Oregon, Florida State, and Clemson will be moving to the Big Ten by the end of the week. Uh, oh my God! What is? Yeah. So Mike Doug in the chat was like, "What's going on with <laughs> with Rex's face? He looks like you know he saw a ghost or something." Um, so yeah. Uh, the rumor is that Clemson and Florida State will be leaving the ACC by the end of the week, joined by Oregon and Washington. Now, how likely is this to happen? I mean, um, I'm looking on Athlon Sports here. <clears throat> I think, what was it? Uh, Scoop City uh, is has received a serious rumor that Big Ten will add Washington, Oregon, FSU, and Clemson at the end of this week. Here's the thing. I don't know how this can happen. I mean, this was the purpose of grant of rights. Um, my understanding is if FSU and Clemson um, leave before 2036, um, they either have to pay a massive amount of money to buy out their TV contracts or they 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 can't have their games televised. Any game that they play in can't be televised, which is not an option, right? Now, Oregon and Washington have been talking about um, leaving the Pac-12 for some time, um, and that that had kind of simmered down until Colorado announces they're leaving um, for the Big Twelve. Um, which now, I mean, the Pac-12 is done. I, I think I can confidently say that. Any um, team that was worth getting um, has been got now. Uh, and, and by that, I mean teams that would realistically join the Pac-12. Um, now, the Pac-12 would probably like for Clemson and Florida State to go to the Big Ten because there could then uh, – there would be a merger between, you know – the ACC and Pac-12, um, then I guess it would just be, what would you call the thing? And it looks like this is the direction college football is going, which is really sad. You know, if you're set, you know, I'm a I'm a tech homer, you know, but set aside the team you root for. Most people that are college football fans, um don't like this. I mean, we're going to – basically this is moving to where we're going to have three uh, probably super conferences. Regionality is gone. Um, academic um, prowess is gone. Like, uh, if you're a Clemson and Florida State fan, you know, it's going to sound like I'm dunking on your school, but your academics don't meet the, the standards of the Big Ten. I'm just being honest with you. The SEC makes way more sense if y'all were going to jump uh, conferences. Um, and I know, you know, lose a big, you know, academics. No one cares about academics. Well, I do. You know, I do. And I think, 
you know, if you're going to have these ridiculous travel schedules for conference games, you know, you, you might be traveling, you know, across country six weeks out of your season. Like that's got to be tough for your school schedule, right? You might have to leave on a Thursday, you know, so you miss two days of classes for six weeks. I mean, I, and honestly, I haven't heard anyone talk about, you know, class or academics and college football in some time. So maybe that's just now an afterthought. Um, but if that's the case, then just remove it from um, the academic side and just have, you know, an amateur league or something. Uh, I don't know. Um, Oregon and Washington makes total sense. Um, I don't know uh, their academics. I don't know Oregon. I know Washington, I think, has uh, pretty good academic standards. But um, if this does happen, that's the end of the ACC. I mean, I don't see how they could recover from that. And to the Big 12's credit, you know, they lose their two biggest markets, Texas and Oklahoma, and two of the biggest markets in the country. Like, those schools bring in a ton of revenue. Um, but do they sit on their hands and just say, Hey, you know, I guess there's nothing we can do. Let's ab- let's, let's do absolutely nothing. Um, no, they go get the best group of five teams that they can. Uh, they pull Colorado, they're making moves, you know, they're doing everything they can to try and salvage their conference. And you know what? Total respect to the big 12, the ACC on the other hand, I think they feel like the grant of rights, um, you know, is just there's because of grant of rights, they don't need to, there's no action required for them. We can just sit on this till 2036. And here's the thing even if that is true, why would you not try and add teams to strengthen your conference and bring in more revenue for the schools that you are continually pissing off and irritating? Like, Clemson and Florida State, if you just stick it to them, they're not going to forget that, right? Like, why not do everything you can? Why not get ahead of the thing? Why not? Why could we not have added, um, you know, some of these teams? Like, even, you know, Central Florida or something, I don't know, bring in West Virginia, you know, something. Um, And I know I just talked about the academics, and that's one of the, the reasons why. Uh, like West Virginia, for instance, hasn't been put in, but got to do something. Got to do something. Now, again, I don't think this is going to happen because there would be um, an injunction filed um, by the ACC, which basically what that is is, hey, we can't wait to litigate this um, because by the time we litigate it, what we're trying, what we're suing for, it ha- ha- is already we can't mitigate it at that point so they'll file for an injunction that they can't air any of their games on tv and i would imagine it's granted based on uh, the contract which would mean that this move to the big 10 can't happen now i don't know what the buyout for their tv contracts are um ben london talked about this last night by the way if you don't uh, if you're not following Benjamin London on Twitter, he's a 247 reporter. He's got a ton of good articles coming out. And check out the live show last night. He's got a promo code for Section 103 if you're a tech fan. Uh, what is it? Code Sideline, I think, will get you 10% off. But uh, And I'm not getting paid to say that, so you can you can trust what Rex says. Um, what was I saying? Anyways, the point is that you got to do something – Oh, um, yeah. I don't know what the buyout for their TV contract is. I'm sure it's massive. Do they have the money on hand? Maybe, but I think it would totally empty their coffers uh, to do that. And uh, so, yeah, I think what this is is Florida State and Clemson really trying to press the issue, kind of making um, a threat they know they can't follow through on to try and goad the ACC into taking some action. Do something, you know? Um, But, yeah, this is a total slap in the face for me. Uh, Again, if these two teams leave, that's the end of the ACC. And what does that mean, you know, for Georgia Tech? Um, Do we slide into the Big Ten? 
not right now. I mean, otherwise we would have been mentioned uh, in in leaving with them. And look, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes at Georgia Tech. You know, is Cabrera and Bat are they shopping Tech out to conferences? I I, I I'll say this. I hope they are preparing for the worst. You know, like you don't want to be caught flat footed. Um, so I hope they at least have a plan if the ACC folds. Like it seems like we'd probably end up in the Big 12. Uh, I don't know why the ACC would take us. They already have the Georgia market. Um, you know, we're not a huge TV market. It doesn't really – it's not advantageous for the SEC to take us, basically. And this is what – so I talked about this last night. This is what so pisses me off about Jeff Collins – and the and and how he drove our program into the absolute ground, um, in at the absolute worst possible time, you know. Again, I'm not saying if we were a ten win team that we would definitely be getting a bid to join the Big Ten, um, but it could be, it could be, you know. Um, so, Jeff, I don't know if you watch. Rec talk. Um, I think you should be ashamed. You took eleven million dollars and put us in this position. Uh, I think if you if if you love tech the way you say you did, I would you, you should uh, donate that money back to the university. Um, anyways, that's just me. So tell me what you think. You guys think you know is th- where there's smoke, there's fire, or is this just a bunch of posturing by these teams to go the ACC into doing something? What do you think? Uh, leave your comments below. I'm getting back on schedule. I'm in uh, the new office, new studio now. So I do plan on doing a position preview tomorrow and another video Friday. That'll give you three. So I hope hopefully that makes up for me only uploading one. Uh, next week, if you like to donate, there's a, a Cash App link and a PayPal link in the description. By the way, this Saturday, uh, first Saturday on the flats, um, there's going to be autograph signing. Big event. Me and Sea Dog will be there uh, along with uh, Mini Rec Talk. Uh, she'll be there. Um, so we'd love to see you. If you're not a member of the channel, uh, there's a link for that right below the title of the video. And I will see you guys uh, probably tomorrow. <laughs>